everybody, this is Dr. Susan Richards again. I want to give you some incredibly helpful and really important information on how to get rid of illness, how to stay healthy, how to prevent illness. And I want you all to think about what isn't going right with you. Are you tired? Are you in pain? Do you have cancer, heart disease, digestive problems? arthritis, depression, neurological problems. You can just go on and on and on when you start looking at all the things that can go wrong with our body, um, all the things that aren't right when you get sick. And again, in the medical field, we usually just throw everything we've got at your illness, and usually everything we've got are drugs, and if it's really bad, you might have to have some surgical procedures, or. Whatever it is, we treat your symptoms and we try to get you feeling better and we try to get on top of whatever the condition is. What's really important to understand is there's a lot of underlying problems when you're sick that if we don't address them, you're just not going to get well. And I want to give you a really important example, which is weakness in the adrenal glands. How many of you know what your adrenal glands are? They're tiny little endocrine glands that make hormones and they're located in the back on top of each kidney. They're kind of the size of an almond, and they're perched on top of your kidneys. These tiny little adrenals are powerhouses because they help to support and keep you healthy in every part of your body. They build your immunity so that you don't have the likelihood so much of getting infections and cancers and allergies. They get rid of inflammation where you get redness and heat and swelling and skin rashes for example and itching and redness and you can have inflammation in any part of the body they help support your heart health your blood pressure they help to regulate your blood sugar level they regulate um, your fluids in your body the mineral content in the fluids they help you to deal with stress they help you to make energy they even help to produce female and male reproductive hormones so virtually every part of you is affected in a wonderful way when your adrenals are strong. Yet millions and millions of people, and, and likely you if you're walking around with chronic illness, I don't care if it's allergies or asthma or arthritis um, or chronic bladder infections or mood swings, PMF, whatever it is, you're likely to have weak adrenals. And this is something that is not a good thing to have and we really want to build up your adrenals. Of course, the best way is the Lord. The Lord will wrap his arms around you when you pray to him and ask for his help, and he will boost you and ask him for healthy, strong adrenals, and God gives us these things. He's the creator of miracle healings. And I've prayed for thousands and thousands of people and see the miracles of the Lord give them even instant miracle healings. So you don't want to walk around with weak adrenals, and virtually everybody who's sick has it. If you're sick and it's chronic, go to the Lord and start to ask for healing in your adrenals, healing in all of your endocrine glands. Your, your, everything needs it. Your thyroid, your parathyroid, your pancreas, your thymus, which is immunity, even your reproductive glands, and certainly your adrenals. That is one of the most important. Your brain needs it to keep you sharp and alert and making good decisions and being able to have good judgment and just having the charge and to get up and go. But the adrenals are amazing because when you build and restore your adrenals, all of a sudden you feel like you have a new life and that you're back to the way you, you like to be and you're used to be. You can go out, you can exercise, you can work out in the gym, you can sing and dance, you can stay up late and meet your work deadlines, you've got joy and happiness. You can go fix your car, go pick up the kids from school. You're just not limited in terms of your activity level. When you're tired and droopy and your adrenals are weak, you just don't have much energy to get things done. I can think of so many examples of this. I remember one woman who, um, who I prayed for and who came um, to get some medical help as well. So she wanted both um, spiritual support from God and medical help from integrative medicine. She was really sick. She had multiple allergies, including environmental allergies, food allergies. She was asthmatic, you know, had to use an inhaler or she would wheeze. 
She had poor digestion, she had chronic pain, she was in very, very poor shape. And she was taking a lot of medication from the medical side, but she wasn't getting any better. She was just sick as can be. And beside praying to the Lord for her in many different ways to build her up, um, I prayed for her adrenals and I started her on adrenal support. I want to share a little bit of that with you because these are very simple things. For example, their vitamin A is one of our foundational vitamins. And the best way to take it in um, is what we call beta carotene. And if you go get a multivitamin from Amazon or the health food store or even your local supermarket or pharmacy, you'll see beta carotene uh, most likely on the label. And it's very important to take it because it helps you to have healthy, good looking skin. It helps your immunity and, and it helps your adrenals to be strong and healthy. And in women, it helps the ovaries. So it plays incredibly important roles in your adrenal strength, your, your female hormone production, and it's very important. You can also eat a high beta carotene rich diet, cantaloupes, uh, papayas, carrots, root vegetables that are orange, you know, um, sort of sweet potato yam kind of um, vegetables, um, spinach, there's a lot of wonderful things that are good sources of vitamin A, beta carotene. Also, you can take in supplements and it will really strengthen you and help get your adrenals back to health. What could be more simple than eating a vitamin A, beta carotene rich diet and taking in some supplements? Another really common supplement that will help your adrenals is vitamin C. Everybody's heard of vitamin C. Um, I usually recommend taking not the acidic form, which is ascorbic acid, but getting an alkaline form of of vitamin C, which means that it's combined with minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, and it brings up the pH and makes it more alkaline and it's better tolerated. It doesn't irritate your digestive tract so much, you handle it well, and, and it's really helpful. And not only does it restore and build your adrenals, but it helps you to shorten the length of a cold or respiratory infection. It's very helpful in speeding up recovery. Even recovery of skin problems, or let's say you've had a little minor surgical procedure or virtually anything where it could take a while, it will speed it up. It's a wonderful nutrient and very beneficial for your adrenals. I recommend generally you know, to start with 500 or 1,000 milligrams, but you can take it in divided doses two or three times a day and go up to two, three, four, five, even higher amounts of vitamin C a day in terms of the, the actual dosage, you know, 1,000 milligrams, 5,000 milligrams as a total dosage. It's very good. Another really good thing to do, there's an herb called Rhodiola rosea. And this herb has been known for a long time to strengthen, boost your energy, help get rid of fatigue, help get rid of stress. And it's a wonderful plant-based supplement that you can easily find and easily buy. There's been some really interesting research in how rhodiola boosts your energy, your strength. It's very specifically useful for your adrenal glands. For example, um, one research study looked at medical students during the time they were taking exams. When they were exhausted, they had no energy, they were depleted, they were stressed out. They were worried, they were frantic, they were just exhausted. And when they were given rhodiola um, compared to a placebo, a, you know, like a, a fake, <laughs> um, the ones that had the rhodiola were significantly stronger and healthier and more full of get up and go and able to deal with their stress much better. So these are a few examples of some things that you all can do to be your healthiest and strongest absolute best. I recommend using foods and supplements to boost your health because all it does is support the good work of the Lord because God can give you literally virtually like new adrenals. He can boost you and build you and all of a sudden you feel better than you have in a long time and your symptoms just disappear and it's not because any medication healed you, it was the Lord. But then when we support God's good work and we can do that through diet, we can do it through supplement use like the 
couple that I've been talking about to give you examples. When we go ahead and we exercise and we oxygenate and we walk or swim, these are wonderful ways to support the work of the Lord in healing you and strengthening you. We love you guys. Bless you.